Hey guys, what's up? I am iCavagon. Welcome back here to some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got the Mirror Shield and we started off the second half of the Spirit Temple and we're not going to waste any time as we hit that switch kind of accidentally. But we're now going to continue as now there's a Lizal foes waiting for us. As we have puzzles to solve and a very short time to do it. Uh, because I only have about 20 minutes or so, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to do this pretty record time. Oh, we need to put away the Begoron sword. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Oh, come on now. You're almost there. Oh, damn it. Oh, for frig's sake. There we go. So, you know, what did that release? I released a treasure chest right behind me. I think this is full of ice. No, it's not. It's full of bombs. I actually needed those. All right, let's kill the bubbles. I am going to need these arrows. So good thing I'm not picking them up. All right, there we go. Now we can spin this the other way. Come on now. Come on. Really? Why will you not work? Because we need to bomb, I guess we need to bomb this wall first. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm a little nervous about this because I do have to get to work and I it would be a shame if I had to stop in the middle of recording this. All right, let's push, 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 push. There we go, it wouldn't work before. There we go, and now I'm pretty sure there's wall masters here. Nope, there's another Lizal foes. Child's play. All right, so now let's push this so it reflects off the big mirror. It is reflecting off the big mirror. Yes. Good, good. Now, when I did this in my practice, for some reason it reset. So what I'm gonna do, oh crap, but first I'm about to get hit by this pot. Nope, I'm not. Neither is this one. Magic, helpful, I'm gonna cast Ferrore's Wind right here and just save myself some potential trouble. All right, uh, where did that go? Over there. So now I can jump down this way, regain all that magic, and use the shield, and shine the light on, as that light should shine down with me, as it totally is. Good. <sighs> all right, for some reason I must have done something wrong. So now what we do is we just shine the light on the face, which is going to disintegrate. Now it reveals a set of great, or a set of great, a great that we can grapple onto. Boop. Yes. And the boss door. So let's go. This boss has two parts. Ho ho ho, looks like someone is here, Koome. He <laughs> looks like it, Kotake. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple. Ho ho ho. Doo -doo. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson. He he he. Well, if I am not, I am nothing if not an outrageous fellow. Oh, loyal minion. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. So it's literally just another iron knuckle with a bit of comic relief. <laughs> so it's just another iron knuckle, but this one's different. As Navi points out, something strange. This is not an ordinary enemy. All right, so luckily the Begoron sword does mad damage. 
And now he is dead. But as we see, the armor falls off and then disappears. And what is left is Naburu. Ugh, where am I? Well, well, Look, le looks like she's back to normal, Kuome. She's just a little girl, but she, she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotake. Doo -doo. Maybe she should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Ho ho ho. Then we should brainwash her again. Hee hee hee. And they got Kot or Naburu again, Kotake and Kuome did. But we beat her, we beat them, and now we get to move on to the next room where we are going to be looking for Kotake and Kuome. So let's do it. What right, we need to do right now, hook shot up this wall. And now here we go. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. So if we remember Kapora Gabor's advice, we gotta send their energy back at them. With my flame, I will burn him to the bone. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. I live in Canada, dude. Nothing you have is colder than me. Colder than this, rather. Tw Sorceress Sisters Twin Rova. So they go by Twin Rova. Which one attacks first? All right, which one do you use attacking first? Kotake. We need to hit the other sister with the attack, but unfortunately I'm pretty bad at it. Come on, Kotake. Come on now. You... Damn it, for whatever reason, I just cannot figure out what to do. Like, I only sort of get it right sometimes. Like, when they're right in front of me. Like, I, I just cannot figure it out. I'm pretty sure the red one is Ko, uh, Kotake and the blue one's Kuome. Nope, got that backwards. Kotake, oh god. It, Kotake is the blue one. Damn it. I, I suck at this fight so bad, which is why. All right, come on, Kotake, send your attack. Which is why I needed to waste as little time as possible getting to it. But it looks like it's going better than it did in my practice. So far, at least. Oh god, please don't attack me right there. Oh, nope, here comes Kotake's attack. See, like, mm, I, I don't know, maybe it's my depth perception? I just cannot figure it out. Stand still. So now that time I wasn't doing anything. Oh Jesus, back-to-back -back attacks, really? Gotcha. I think I'm only like a few hits away from being done with this segment. I'm much better at the second segment. Is it Kotake? Yep. Yes! See, when they're right in front of me- Yes, I did it! Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake. Oh, okay, Kuome. Kotake and Kuome's double dynamite attack as they now freeze as this is Twin Rova. Much more dangerous than Kotake and Kuome. As what you need to do is absorb their attacks as she doesn't actually send one that you can just fire right back. So she will send three attacks and you have to absorb all of them with your shield. And then send a beam back at her, which I missed and forgot. I forgot. Damn it, that was my own fault. 
All right, so now we start the cycle again. So it's obviously impossible to do this without the mirror shield. I think you have to do this four times. All right, come on now. Gotcha. See now, if I'm doing more damage though, maybe this fight will go a little faster. Oh crap. Damn it, didn't have my shield out. Put the shield away, or put the sword away. That's the downside of the Bagoron sword. And now I just sort of have to avoid it because I won't complete a cycle, so have to wait for her to start the fire attacks. That's annoying. All right, here the fire attack should be starting. Here we go. Come on now, hurry it up. We're making good time actually. One more. And now attack away. Come on now. Yes! Oh, yes! Thank you, Bagoron Sword. Oh, thank God. They are restored to normal, sort of. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious, right, Kotake? What? Hey, Kuome, what is that above your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. They're dead. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Who are you calling senile? Is that how you treat your older sister? We're twins, how can you be older? Kia, how heartless you are! How can you be so ungrateful? You're heartless! You're ungrateful! I'll come back to haunt you. Oh, yes. That is the end of Kotake and Kuome and Twin Rova. And now we pick up our final heart container. So let's go back to the Chamber of Sages for the final time as this is the last temple. And we'll find out who the sage is. I wonder who it could be. Is there's a bunch of cutscenes that are going to take over the rest of this episode, so... We got a bit of, of watching to do. What a surprise. Kid, let me thank you. <laughs> Look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But it is, isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid? No, Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. Buru's an interesting sage. She's, she's sort of a, she didn't appear until at the very end of the game, but she ended up having a huge part in the game. I like it. I like Naburu. You receive the spirit medallion. Naburu awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. 
the one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. I wonder who it is. As we are transported outside the Desert Colossus, and let's take a look at our inventory. Full spells, almost full arrows, full items, missing one bottle, full equipment, full elements, full ocarina songs, we have everything. Let's go back to the Temple of Time. There we go. Warp to the Temple of Time? Yes. I made a good decision to record it because I didn't realize that fight was going to go easy. That easy. I have been waiting for you, Link. It's chic. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the King of Evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Shikas. Whew. Big, big things. you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will, be the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the sacred triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will gain the true force to govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will bear the Triforce mark on the back of their hands. Heavy stuff. Seven years ago, Ganondorf the King of Thieves used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hand on the hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. So that says that Ganondorf most believed in the Triforce of Power. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. Oh my god! And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage, who is destined to be the leader of them all. Oh, oh my god! Ta-da! It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. What if we just didn't? Like, no, how dare? On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. Nailed it. 
I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. Stumble of my words there. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of, it, of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. But what did you do today? <laughs> and now you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf the Evil King will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus Ganondorf the Evil King will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the Evil King's defenses, the power given to the Chosen Ones, the Sacred Arrow of Light! Remember I said we were short an arrow? Well, not anymore. The ultimate weapon in the Legend of Zelda series are the Light Arrows, and now we have acquired them. You got the light arrow, set it to bleh and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. Oh good. That rumbling, it can't be. Well, damn it. <laughs> Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. Best hide and seek player ever. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid as I yawn because I'm just so bored by all of this. No. It was not the kid's power I misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. <laughs> So, uh, that was a lot of things that just happened, uh, and with that, whew, we're gonna wrap this episode up, as next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are gonna go to Ganondorf's castle and save Zelda, confront the Evil King, and save Hyrule. We've probably got about two episodes left of this series, hopefully two, maybe three. I hope you'll join me. Until then, guys, I've been iCabagon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and a comment as well. Subscribe for more videos like this one if you've not done so already. Don't forget to check out all the links in my description below. And we are coming up on the end here, guys. This one's important, so I hope you'll stick around and watch. Until then, guys, I am signing off.